The fourth and last approach is the medial approach uh, to scan the distal biceps tendon. Um, and because of, uh, if I would scan now on this arm, you would not be able to see it. So for didactic purposes, we are going to take uh, the other arm. Um, so we're going to scan on the medial side and to do so, uh, the tendon should be a little bit on a pre-stretch. So we're going to ask the patient to actively hold this, uh, this, this somewhat flexed elbow position. Then the transducer is going to be placed in line with the uh, humeral bone and um, uh, we're going to start uh, right here and then we're going to move the transducer uh, uh, to distal to distal and somewhat to proximal or to somewhat to ventral and what we are going to look at is to see whether we can find the brachial artery right here. So this is the brachial artery and this is a very clear landmark uh, for you to be able to see the distal biceps tendon because now in this approach the distal biceps tendon is underneath. So this is the distal biceps tendon inserting to the distal, uh, to the radial tuberosity bone. Um, this uh, brachial artery is not only an uh, important landmark, but it is also an acoustic window for you to optimally see the distal biceps tendon. So now we can see the, the whole distal bi biceps tendon right here with its uh, full uh, insertion right there. Again, we're going to scan back and forth to see every part of the distal biceps tendon and we're going to look for uh, signs of uh, tearing of the biceps, but also fluid accumulations, maybe due, due to the uh, basitis and uh, for uh, strange foreign bodies or maybe uh, calcifications. So try to keep uh, the biceps tendon a little bit more horizontal in scre screen, like I'm doing right now, to avoid anisotropy and to increase the echogenicity. And to do so, you need to tip in the distal transducer tip a little bit more into uh, the, uh, the skin. So this was the uh, fourth and last approach to scan the uh, distal biceps tendon.